Hello and good morning. You're listening to Casey Genesis in the AM. I'm your host, Casey Genesis. Man, what a morning. I got some news for you guys. I mean, of course, it's going to be like news from like different places and different spaces. But um, mostly good news, I think, you know. Uh, kind of, you know, uh, news that we probably should have seen coming. But, you know, uh, nonetheless, you know, happy Wednesday to you guys. You know what that means? Uh, wrestling comes on tonight. I know some of y'all may not be too crazy over wrestling. Um, like my wrestling fans or who, whoever listens to this podcast, you know, I'm, I know there's some views, you know, it's not many, but I appreciate the views, and I, I appreciate the listens, too. Uh, thank you for that. Uh, but, yeah, AEW Dynamite coming on tonight. You guys ready for that? I heard that Samoa Joe will be uh, debuting. Now, I have watched ROH, you know, uh, Supercard of Honor, and, yeah, he returned then. And uh, yeah, it was it was pretty cool. I, th- I thought I thought the whole show was really good, you know. Like this, I did, like remind this is my first time watching ROH. Like I've never watched it, you know, like before Tony bought it, you know, Tony Khan bought it. But now since he bought it, you know, I'm like, okay, let me try it out. It's it. It definitely has the AEW feel to it, you know. The, um, like it doesn't look low budget or anything like that, you know. And of course, it has a lot of AEW you get a guys on there too, you know. But it also has like some of the regular ROH guys too, you know, like uh, Gresham and um, Bandito. It's Bandito ROH. I've I've seen him compete against Gresham, you know. I seen Bandito compete the first time in my life, and dude, it's really good. I think he's, I think he possibly became one of my favorite wrestlers, even if I can say. And of course, uh, we have uh, Yuta, Yuta, yeah, Yuta. You know, he won a pure championship, pure championship. I've never heard of it before. Pure, I think, uh, I, th- I think the Pure Championship has like a, a special kind of uh, stipulations, you know, to a match, you know. Um, I think the stipulations were you have to only stay inside the ring, if that's correct. And then, uh, you know, you only get three road breaks to. And after that, you know, you, you, you gotta either like escape the submission hole, or you can either tap and lose the match. Um, it's a lot of technical wrestling involved in it, you know, in pure uh, stipulations or uh, for the pure championship, which I thought was pretty neat. Like I, I got never heard anything like that, you know. Like, it feels like classic wrestling. That's what it feels like. That good old-fashioned classic wrestling that you used to watch in the 60s or 50s or whatever. Yeah. It, it kind of reminds me of that, you know, pure. But, uh, yeah, well, like, none of that fancy stuff, you know, the fancy stuff that you see with the hot flying and stuff and the twisty and the twirly and stuff like that, you know, uh, I might have forgotten how the match went, but, yeah, also, for, um, all my non-wrestling fans, if you don't feel comfortable, you know, just watching or listening to me, you know, uh, talk about wrestling, you can just fast forward, it's for my wrestling fans, guess I do have some wrestling news for you guys next, so I'm gonna get that out the way before I get to the um, rest of the business or whatever, but yeah, like I thought that was a pretty cool match between Yudo and what's his face. 
I don't remember all of these wrestlers' names, so forgive me. But yeah, you do. Man, dude is going places. I really hope he joins William Regal's stable with uh, John Mosley and and Brian Danielson or Brian Danielson. Yeah, I really do hope he joins him. You know, feels like he has like really good potential too. Like with him and Lee Moriarty. Oh yeah, Lee Moriarty. Yeah, he went against Jay Jay Lee. They need to own a ROH as well, you know? And I thought their match was pretty cool. Like, like that match was pretty good, you know? Then, of course, they lead to turning heel and whatnot, along with uh, Sanjay Dutt. And then, you know, Samoa Joe, he uh, made a return on ROH as well. You know, he uh, looks good. He's looking good, and yeah. They had us ROH, you know. Uh, let's go ahead and get into some news, man. I want, to, I want some news. I feel good. I can tell by my voice, tell by my energy. I'm uh, producing some really good energy right now, y'all. Um, yeah. We'll uh, get more into more wrestling news. We have a uh, WWE legend to replace Corey Gray, some royal commentary for a few weeks. Um, that's coming up next. We'll get more into that next. So stay tuned for that. Yeah. Cool. Thanks. See you soon. Hello and good morning. You're listening to Casey Genesis in the AM. I'm your host, Casey Genesis. Uh, yesterday, I got my teeth cleaned. You know, it's like the simple things. I like doing the simple things, you know. It makes me feel good on the inside, you know. It makes me feel all bubbly and stuff on the inside whenever I do the simplest, needful things that human beings should be doing is getting their teeth clean, you know, by the dentist. And, uh, yeah, like, my dentist is so cool, you know. Um, well, the dentist that cleans my teeth, I have, like, multiple dentists that do multiple things on my teeth. And, uh... But yeah, this specific dentist, like, she is such a lovely senior lady, uh, young lady. Let's call her young lady. Uh, she's coming close to retirement soon. And yeah, I'm just like, man, because we vibe so good, you know. I think it's because like, we both share the same birthday or what, you know. And, you know, uh, She's more experienced with life, too. Yeah, I just want to say, like, man, she is such a cool lady. I'm not going to lie. She is such a cool lady. You know, she's easy to talk to. She's easy to get along with, you know. Yeah, it's, like, very cool. Very cool person, indeed. And, yeah, like, she does a great job on my, on my teeth, too. My, my teeth looking sparkling and white, you know. Of course, you no know, toothpaste and, you know, and brushing does that too but man she puts it on another level you know so uh yeah I uh, talked to her about getting braces as well and she is totally down for that and yeah I think uh, it'll help me out in the long run for sure you know my top teeth is not so bad just my bottom teeth bottom teeth crooked as hell man uh, top teeth is uh, not bad at all you know I don't really have any crooked teeth on, on the top I have my wisdom, my wisdom teeth taken out, but my uh, top teeth, yeah, not that bad. But I think that it'll help me out as well. If, you know, uh, get some braces, you know, or get Invisalign, and uh, yeah, see where it goes, man. You know, we're, I'm ready for that kind of journey. I'm ready to spend lots more money as well. <sighs> <laughs> but let's get into this uh, this WWE news, shall we? Sportskita.com says WWE legend to replace Corey Grace on Raw commentary for a few weeks. WWE Hall of Famer Jerry Lawler will return to Raw commentary on the next episode of The Red Brand. He is going to temporarily replace Corey Grace for a few weeks as the latter will be off on his honeymoon with Carmella. Uh, Duh. 
couple is all set to tie the knot on Thursday in Fort Lauderdale, Florida. Um, speaking on this week's World Talk, Jerry Lawler seemed excited to return behind the announcer's desk. I'm looking forward to it. I'm going to be back behind the announcer's table during Monday Night Raw because that idiot Corey Graves is getting married, <laughs> said Lawler. Uh, and he has like Carmelo's Twitter handle, you know, saying now I have to get married to my best friend. Big deal. You know, I'm pretty sure it's going to be a good wedding. Congrats to the both of them on getting married. Tying a knot, you know. Uh, love is always good, never bad. Lawler, who earned many years of broadcasting experience in WWE, had an incredible on-screen partnership with Jim Ross. J.R. Riley regarded as one of the best commentary duos of all time. And uh, that's that for that. Yeah, that's, that's that on that news. Now, I'm going to make this about me. You know, talk about, you know, um, relationship stuff on here, too. Um, you know, like I've recently started back swiping. Uh, now, at times, I don't have any plans on getting back at out there, you know, and I probably should delete the apps as well, you know, just keep myself from doing that, but, yeah, like, like, it's not, it's not everyone else, but it's just me, I'm not there yet, it seems like, or, uh, you know, I just, ha I just don't have any energy in me to invest in another person like that. In the first few times, you know, it wasn't so bad. It's just at times I get exhausted, dude. I get mentally exhausted, you know. You know those moods, you know, where you're, you're just like, I want time to myself. I want to be close off on the world. I want to be able to, you know, not talk to anyone. That that includes my own brother as well. Like as much as I enjoy his company, there are at times where I'm like I really don't want to hear from anyone anyone at all so it's not just like anyone else I don't blame anyone else I blame myself I don't really blame myself either I should take that back I don't blame myself because yeah I need my time I need my space I need my um, solitude you know I need to be able to have a have a at least a few days to myself, you know, and be like, I just want to stay inside and just not do anything but watch TV. That sounds unhealthy, I know, but to me, that feels like I am resting. It feels like, you know, I'm uh, increasing my energy, I guess. You know, uh, I'm saving my energy, you know, for other times. And I just, you know, I just want to be left alone to myself, you know, nothing bad for that. I know that, you know, some people, they're not down with that, and that's fine, too. That's okay. And, yeah, like, that's cool, you know, if, if, you, uh, if you need all the time from another person. I don't blame you, you know. It feels good to be loved, but for me, it feels good to be loved. But also, man, I just need to be away from the world. And so I just need to be away from the world. Maybe I snap out of it one day and, you know, come to a conclusion that, you know, um, that I need someone to be around me 24-7. I'm not trying to diss anyone. But, uh, but yeah, I just, maybe I come to a conclusion that, you know, hey, okay, I need someone around me. But as of right now, man, I'm just happy to be doing me by myself. That's, that's just it right there. I'm not going to make anyone a booty call because I don't want to put that on them. And, and I don't want to put that on me either, you know. I don't want, you know, um, I don't want to feel like that they're like a sometimes person. 